A lot of people have seen mentions of something called a Simply Piano Beta, and they don't exactly know what that is. So here I'll show you on an iPad. You open Simply Piano, and you wait for it to load. You connect your piano as usual. And here you have, when the app starts, you have the same courses and songs as you have on any phone, iPhone or Android. But on the iPad, you also have in the bottom of the screen, something called a play beta. This is only available on the iPad. It's not available on iPhones. It's not available on Android. It's only on iPads because according to the creators of Simply Piano, it's just the size of the screen that matters here. So when you click the beta, it will load this screen, which is completely different from what you've seen before. It's actually acts as a separate app inside Simply Piano. And you can here in the bottom right corner, you can see back to Simply Piano. But what actually offers you is a lot of songs, different songs than the ones from that you could find in the songs tab of Simply Piano. And you can either select one of these or you can look for one. You can go for bros, you have Christian gospel, you have the genres of music here. And you can search for one. Let's search for something classical like Furelise. Now, Furelise, you can either hear how it's supposed to sound. And if you want to play it, you can load it up here. Here you have a sheet music of Furelise. And first of all, it asks you, do you want to listen to it? Well, yes, you can say you can listen to the first phrase or the full song. And it will just go on and on and like this. You can choose the section you want to listen to. You can play directly by this and it actually shows you. It has uh, some nice feedback. It actually shows you where to start. So here it's, so it's seen that I have not started to play. So it's pointing me out exactly where I need to play. So, And as I play, you can see that it's following the notes that I played. And if I stop, it'll think I'm not exactly sure what note to continue with. So and it'll wait and show me again. And now you see I'm waiting, it's supposed to start with the baseline too. So it will now show me the baseline too. So it's actually showing me right now and I'm supposed to hit this key. And this one. So I'm not going to play the whole thing. Otherwise, YouTube will just block this video or demonetize it. What it can also do is teach you the sections just like in Simply Piano, it'll show you a screen in which you start to play and it'll show you what you need to do. It's a little different. And you can go on and on like that, exactly like in the main app of Simply Piano, learn every passage and if you return back, you'll see how it does. Now, the thing is, you can either play like this and it will give you hints and it will follow you along and everything, or you can turn off the feedback completely and then, and it'll just continue like this without doing anything. You can engage though an auto scroll, which will slowly move 
the sheet music up and down. If you are putting the app to listen to the feedback from you, it will scroll automatically as you move along the piece of music. So the great thing about this is that it literally can teach you how to read sheet music. And on top of that, if you want to just start from a certain section or play a certain section only, you can select feedback and this select teach me, you can just, and you select the place where you want to start and from here it will listen to you. Note though that it will not it will not give you much feedback as to what you're doing at the moment. See? So it's not showing you exactly which note you're getting wrong but it will show you when you get it right and it will give you these helpful hints. So, as you can see, this allows you to grow much more as a pian pianist and as a player than just to follow the lessons and the songs as laid out in the app. After you master this kind of playing, you could be able to, you would be able to just start playing on your own with paper sheet music or however you desire. The thing is, it doesn't just have some stuff that's from um, classical music. It also has pop music, as you can see, uh, new releases, older songs, You can basically find anything you will like from this. So even game themes. Beverly Hills Cop. Uh, there's I saw Tetris in here too. So this is how the beta looks like. You don't have to do anything special to be in the beta except have an iPad. Once you have an iPad and a subscription, it will be available. And once you enter it, you will be able to use this sheet music to go back to Simply Piano. There's this logo in the bottom right. You just click back to Simply Piano and you are back to your regular lessons and your regular songs. That's it, basically. Hope you enjoyed it and hope it helps.